Hello, hello everyone, oh, welcome back to another video and I have something a little bit different than usual and it's about the weekly challenges. I'm going to show you how can you get 120 atoms this week. Well, as you probably noticed, the weekly challenges are a bit different than before and they are mostly about taking pictures of things, players, creatures, places and so on. I have just published a new video or guide on how to craft tons of camera film just so you have enough to take all the required pictures for this week. Now feel free to check it out because you need some materials that are not so common in the world. Anyway, let's jump to the challenges that I have selected and done. And thus, I will tell you how to do them. And it's the very first one. It's the easiest to claim a workshop. Mm, 30 points for that. Then we need to take pictures of different players. We also need to take pictures of different types of robots and then a special portrait of a Merle Queen, King and a Spawn or a Hunter. So four challenges, 120 points. Let's go. If you have never claimed this workshop, then don't worry because it might seem a little difficult to get to the workshop when you teleport to a Barclay Springs, but all you have to do is really find the stairs and go all the way up because the workshop is located in there. The stairs are right here behind all these buildings and then you need to go behind these buildings as well. Now I have marsupials so I can jump over but the entrance is here in this building with the blue door and then you have to kill all the mutants around to be able to contest the workshop and needless to say you have to go all the way up there through the stairs and then contest the workshop until it's yours. Once you have the workshop then your challenge will be completed. It's pretty much a straightforward one. Now the real challenges begin and the first one or the second challenge is about taking nine pictures of different robots. Let's go to the Watoga area and in here we can find the iBot and the Protecton very easily. You can start at the Civic Center or teleport to the emergency services as you wish. And normally here at the entrance you can find an iBot and a Protecton. It can be dead or alive, it doesn't really matter, but make sure to actually track your goddamn challenges. I forgot to do that and I was wondering why there was no update. But once you track them, then every time you get an update to the challenge, you will get a notification. Then we have to go here to the south part of the Watauga region and you can find several assaultrons. And Make sure that their names show in the camera mode. If the names don't show, then you probably won't be able to get them officially. I think it's some sort of bug. And in here around the marketing district, you can usually find a Mr. Handy around this part. It's just past the trending outpost. Then let's go to the White Spring Resort to take a beautiful shot of a sentry bot that is patrolling the area. And here is one. Again, make sure that the name is popping up in the corner, the right corner. And then for the rubber brain, I prefer to photograph Biff. It's a very safe and reliable source. I know there are many other sources for rubber brains, but this is, you know, he is always here, so it's pretty easy to do it. And then you can also go to the event bot on Parade and you can get the Alsaltron and also a Mr. Gutsy. Just a little tip for you in case you don't know you can do it. It's just a little extra if you don't want to go all the way to Watoga. 
Then you want to either go to the ammunition workshop or to the Grafton Steel for the vertibot. Now, once you get one of these workshops, you can repair the landing area and a vertibot will spawn. Then it's very easy. All you have to do is take a picture and voila, you will get an update. But first you have to kill all the mutants around or enemies and claim the workshop. Then you can do this. Another one bites the dust. And then for the Liberator, I usually go to the Feed the People event because there are thousands of them around. It's a very uh, safe one to do, but the event is not always up. So I remember that there is a spawn, a fixed spawn of Liberators near Vault 76 when you start the game to your right. There is usual two or three there. So that's another location for you to check out if you need liberators. And finally, for the turrets, well, use your goddamn base or workshop to just, you know, craft a turret and take a picture. You can craft one of the most basic ones if you don't have any. Now I have plenty of turrets to take a picture, so I don't really need to create another one. And that's pretty much it. Your challenge is now completed. The third challenge is taking pictures of people. Damn, that's difficult. I'm kidding. It's super easy. But there are a few tricks that you should know. Now, don't go to stations when you see someone because by the time you get there, people are probably gone. It happened to me a few times. Instead, go to events or to workshop defending events. That also works very well. But be aware that these bugs a lot. For example, I took a picture of this guy defending his workshop. His name was actually in the picture, but nothing really happened. I thought that maybe I didn't have it tracked, but I did. So then I proceed to try and take a picture of the other guy to see if it was also bugged. And when I did it, instead of getting one single point, I got three. And I was very confused. I still am. I think it's just another bug. It doesn't make sense. But that's the way it is. Also, don't bother trying to photograph the same player because it doesn't count. I tried it here just to make sure it doesn't count and I am correct here. Then you might want to go to the busy white spring, you know, basic shopping. There's usually people here. And again, I found this guy here checking his inventory. Another three points. I don't understand then I went here to this other guy and it didn't count at all so I I don't really know what's the rule for this challenge but it's super buggy so beware of that and as I mentioned before events with people already doing it are a great way to just find people, you know, around to take pictures of them. And this guy for once was not as buggy, but still it counted as two points. I even considered that maybe there were more players around, but I checked the map and around myself and there was no one really. It was just me and him in this event, for example. Going to Vault 76 is also a nice way to find people. Usually there are new players starting or, you know, old players using it as a free fast travel point. But feel free to go anywhere that you see white dots because there is a high chance that you will meet people and be able to take a portrait of them. And that's really everything we need for this challenge. If it works correctly, you need to photograph 10 different people. If it's just as buggy as it is for me, then you need way less. And that's not really a bad thing, at least in my opinion. Be careful with the bugs and don't do emotes while holding the camera. Otherwise, you will be teleported around. 
And for the glorious 40 atoms, we have the fourth challenge, which is basically getting the perfect shot of the Mirlock family. You need to go here to the Highland Marsh, where there is this delightful spawn with all of them, but not always. So we will have to server jump probably a lot unless you are quite lucky. Now, keep in mind that the spawns are the baby Mirlocks like this kind of cockroaches are following me they are considered as spawns so you don't have to exactly find a hunter for the picture i try to find one i know it spawns here it's a rare one but you don't really need it you just need a mere king this guy here and the queen is always spawning and the spawns the baby ones as well so once you see the king that's it Make sure the three are in the range of your photo mode with the camera, of course. Take the shot and that's it. Your challenge should be completed and the 40 atoms will be yours. And that's pretty much how can you earn 120 atoms in like an hour or two, depending how lucky and quickly you are with these challenges. I am Marta Branco, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and to leave a comment to let me know what you think about the video. And that's going to be everything for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Wow. <laughs>